In this screencast, I'm going to show you how JProfiler's ID integrations make profiling more convenient. JProfiler's ID integrations uh, principally do two things. They launch your application with profiling enabled right from your IDE, and they allow you to navigate back to your IDE for showing source code. Now, JProfiler does have a lot of functionality for standalone profiling without using your IDE, and some of it is, is really simple. For example, the application server integration wizards, where it is really just a matter of clicking through the wizard and supplying a start script or the web start integration. There is a special session type for that where you just have to uh, supply the URL of a JNLP file and you start profiling right away. But if you have a main class and lots of jar files, lots of VM parameters and stuff like that, it can be really tedious to duplicate all this uh, run configuration to JProfiler and synchronize it with your IDE a as it changes. And that's where the IDE integrations uh, come in. To install an IDE integration, you do session, IDE integrations, you choose your IDE, there is a number of IDEs supported here. In this screencast we show Eclipse 3.4. I click on integrate and um, after this warning JProfile asks me for the installation directory of um, uh, the IDE. And uh, in this case, I've already done this before, and JProfile caches installation directories of previously integrated IDEs, and uh, so this is fine. This is the uh, directory where Eclipse is installed on my system, and I say yes. And uh, now it's done. The integration has been performed. There is a final instruction uh, that applies to Eclipse that you have to activate the profile command group for the perspective where you want the profile actions to be shown. Now, um, let's go to Eclipse to see what it talks about. Uh, it's under Window, Customize Perspective, and on the Commands tab, there is a Profile command group that has to be selected. Otherwise, the profile actions uh, will not be shown uh, in your perspective. There are some options you can configure for the ID integration. They can be found under Window, Preferences, on the JProfile preference page. For example, if you want to use a different JProfile installation for profiling, you can select the different JProfile executable here. Now, what does the ID integration add to the Eclipse IDE apart from this preference page? In the Run uh, menu, you get profile actions that are completely analogous to the Run and Debug command groups. Also, you get a Profile toolbar button. For this demo, I've prepared a sample project. This is the Eastwood chart library based on JFreeChart. It produces Google charts. Um, let's start profiling with the Profile button. I'm going to open a new window in JProfiler. And here we go. This is the session startup dialog. Here you can configure all the profiling settings. JProfiler remembers profiling settings on a per-project basis. Um, and I've already profiled this sample project before. So in the filter settings, I've already told JProfile that all the interesting classes are located beneath the org jfree top level package. So that's what I've configured in the filter settings. Everything is fine. I can start profiling. This is live profiling data. This is the Eastwood charts GUI. Now I need some um, chart configuration string in order to render something can get that from the Google Developers Guide for Google Charts. Let's copy this Hello World uh, chart configuration string. Go back to JProfiler. In the CPU views we record some CPU data. Let's render this Hello World chart stop CPU profiling and go to the hotspots view. Here we can see that the application render chart method is a significant hotspot. And if we right click this hotspot node and invoke the show source action, the ID integration will go back to the Eclipse IDE to show 
the source code rather than bringing up the integrated source code view in JProfiler. Let's check that out. Go to Eclipse and indeed we can confirm that the render chart method has been highlighted in the Eclipse IDE, the same render chart method that we've selected in JProfiler.